Well hello everybody, Brian here with Plumbing Solutions. Just doing another video for our homeowner's guide. This is a series of videos we're doing for people who have bought houses that we did the plumbing in. Now, I get asked a lot of questions. And one of the questions over the years that I've been asked a lot is, how come it takes so long to get hot water to said fixture, say my master bathroom or my island sink? Well, nowadays we use these tankless water heaters and they don't have hot water sitting there ready to roll like uh, your conventional water heaters do. Uh, now, conventional water heater, as soon as you turn that hot water tap on, that water is coming out of here and rolling down its pipes on its way to you. This already has its water made. Now, with the tankless style, they've actually got to fire up and start producing that hot water. And what I found, it takes anywhere from eight to 28 seconds to actually do its firing cycle and start making hot water at the bottom. So a little bit of a delay with those, but not a whole lot. Now, the other thing you gotta remember is, where is this water heater located? Most of the time, these are hanging outside on a garage wall, or we may have put it in an attic. Uh, now, same thing with your conventional. It may be sitting out inside your garage or it may be in the attic or it could be in a crawl space or something like that. So you got to think about where's my water heater located and how far is my bathroom away from there. Uh, especially if you're dealing with an island sink. An island sink and it's on a slab, uh, we have to run those pipes underneath the concrete underground there where it's about 60 to 65 degrees all year round um, here in the south. Uh, so that's just something you have to think about. That water has to travel through those pipes and as it's traveling through those pipes it's gradually warming them up which means it's gradually cooling itself down but eventually it'll catch up. Now just something, uh, it's just a rule of thumb, uh, I was told years ago that this was code and I have not been able to find it anywhere in the code, but it's kind of our little standards or our guidelines and the little phrase is um, with acceptable temperature loss of 15 degrees and no longer than uh, three minutes total. Now that's from the time you turn that faucet on and that acceptable uh, 15 degrees of temperature loss, that's if you got this tankless water heater set here at 120 and you're trying to take a thermometer and measure it uh, at a tap and you're getting 105, that's perfectly acceptable. There is an acceptable temperature loss of 15 degrees. Now you can bump these things up a little bit to get those temperatures a little bit higher, uh, but you don't want to go too, too high with it because then you're slowing your water down even more. Uh, so now the three minutes, uh, I've had people call and they're like, man, it takes forever. And I'm like, well, about how long? And they're like, man, like a whole 20 seconds. 20 seconds, that's, that's nothing when you're talking about uh, the hydrodynamic world of plumbing. Uh, it has to travel down the pipes and that's a physical thing. And 20 something seconds, that's pretty good. Now, if we're over that three minute mark, uh, we might need to rethink some things. Now, of course, when it comes to warranty, everything's a case by case uh, situation. And like I said, these things are not code, but just be mindful of where your water heater is located and where that fixture uh, that you're worried about uh, taking so long is, is located. Because if they're a good distance apart, it's just gonna take that long and there's not really a whole lot we can do about it. Now you as a homeowner, you can explore some options, uh, but those things are extra equipment and I would watch out for extra equipment during that first year of warranty because you don't want to modify your plumbing system uh, while you're still covered under our correction period or our warranty period. Um, well, I hope that um, helps you out there and thanks a lot for watching my video.